Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I am Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is a question on salmon. I'm answering, uh, answering fan email. Here's a question that came in from Karen. It's a great question. Marcus, could you advise me if I eat salmon from the Atlantic Ocean? I assume that's where it's coming from since, it's, since it does not say Alaska. It says it's kosher or it's kosher. Uh, thank you. Could you send me an article or, or article uh, you have on salmon? Karen. So Karen and anybody else who wants to know the answer to that question. So if salmon comes, if you go buy salmon in a store um, and it doesn't say wild, it just says salmon, chances are, chances are, it is going to be farmed salmon. Now here's the confusing part. Atlantic, quote unquote Atlantic, because Atlantic is a species. Atlantic salmon can be from the Pacific Ocean. So for instance, they can farm raise Atlantic salmon in Chile. So don't get that confused if it says product of Chile. Well, Chile's Pacific Ocean, and I'm confused because it says Atlantic, but it's from the Pacific. So that's how that works. So if it says Atlantic salmon, chances are it's always farmed. There is one or two small, small salmon runs still left, um, like in Ireland, that produce a small amount, but the, the, the price is outrageous. It's literally like $30 a pound wholesale for the fish when it gets to the U.S., if it even gets to the U.S. So we're going to assume that all, for all salmon from the Atlantic or labeled Atlantic is farmed because that's just the reality of it. Um, unless you're eating at a very high-end, high fine dining restaurant or unless you're in Ireland right there, but literally the amount of that salmon that they catch is virtually nothing compared to the market of everything else. So people typically want to tell that they have wild salmon. So it doesn't need to say Alaskan, it could just say wild. Now wild could come from, of course, all of the Pacific, everything from Northern California all the way up into Alaska. Now the further south you go, the less sustainable you get on salmon. It means the smaller catches there are, the lower population, um, maybe less clean waters. So if you go into Monterey Bay Aquarium and look, or fishchoice.com, which I love, fishchoice, that's how it's spelled, fishchoice.com, you can actually find salmon or any fish and find out how it's rated. Monterey Bay Aquarium is probably one of the classic or oldest uh, places that's been doing sustainability ratings on seafood and it's very easy to find Monterey Bay Aquarium and have the app on your phone and just check it off and or read it. It's very easy to read because you do three options. Uh, avoid, better, or best. Three options is all it gives you. It's really, really concisive on that. But Northern California is going to be on the avoid list because of population. Um, once you start getting up into Oregon and Washington State, the population is a little stronger, maybe it gets a little better mark. Of course, the best is going to be coming from Alaska. They have the strongest quotas, the most well-managed system uh, or uh, quota system for when it comes to population. Of course, they still have a, probably the cleanest waters, not maybe clean waters, but the cleanest waters uh, out there in Alaska. So that's how you really decipher salmon. So just to recap this, if it says Atlantic, it's always most likely farmed, 99.9% .9 farmed. It can be from the Pacific, but it's going to be farmed. If it says wild salmon, it's going to be wild from the Pacific coast. And it can be even wild if you're buying like some of the, even the more the cheaper stuff that I've seen out there, uh, the economy stuff. It can be caught in China and even uh, packaged in China, uh, even Russia, Russia and China. I mean, salmon on the whole Pacific, so it's going to go down in through China and up through Russia on the Pacific coast of those countries. So it can be from there as well. So just... Be prepared to read labels and be conscious of where the possibility of the salmon is coming from. When it says Pacific salmon, that's another tricky thing because Pacific salmon can be farmed. In British Columbia, in Canada, they farm salmon. They farm king salmon. I know some restaurants that are, are, are happy to say, oh, we have British Columbia salmon. We have Pacific king salmon. Yeah, it's farmed. You have to be very, very specific and ask a lot of questions. Is it wild? Is it farmed? Um, and how do you know this? Because that's also another tricky thing. So when it comes to salmon, um, the whole thing can just be tricky. So when you go to a restaurant, when you go to a fishmonger, the more questions that they can answer, the more questions you ask, or the more stuff they're willing to tell you is going to represent a better quality or more of what they know where the salmon's coming from, typically a better quality. They might know that it's farmed Atlantic, so they might know whatever. So it's really important that they can answer all of your questions. If they can't answer all of your questions, then be very hesitant to buy the product. 
So hopefully that helps Karen and whoever else is watching this video. Uh, please hit like, subscribe, uh, pass this video on, and send me any questions you have. Thanks for watching.